Well, good afternoon. We're back on the uh, scooter today. We're going to be installing this uh, M8. They call it a checkmate. I guess it's for because it's an M8 motor. So we're going to put this breather on. I've heard nothing but good things about it. So I decided to go ahead and get one. Since it all makes sense, I mean, this is the highest part of the oiling system on the bike and if you have a vented vented dipstick well on heavy acceleration all the oil goes all the way to the back and literally doesn't breathe so this should be an easy process you gotta take i'm gonna take this cover off there's six uh quarter 20 bolts that are on there I'm gonna take those off take the other cover off as well this cover here that way we could have a place to put the uh, the breather filter anyway let's get to work You have to twist it off, I guess. There we go. Okay, there's... Oh, it's got like a little barb on it right there. All right, there it is. Here's the new cover right here. You take this gasket off. This should go in the same way. Okay, the way this hose goes, I guess it's oriented and it clips on the bottom here. So that's it. Let's put this baby back together. Anyway, it's not easy taking these small quarter 20 Allen head screws out. I mean, you have very little room. It seems like you got enough room but it's very very hard to uh, maneuver your allen head wrench so what I'm gonna do is I I have these stainless steel quarter 20s hex hex screws I'm gonna put those on and they're a little bit shorter so they should be fine they do clear the uh, the thickness of the of the cover and there's enough threaded material left there to thread plus there's six of these screws so I'm going to put these on and uh, should be fine there everything's clean everything's cool the gaskets on your breathers in place will be fine Oh, there it is in place. I just got to tighten it up. The brightness of the light is probably not uh, showing it, but it's in place. I've got one more screw to put on that side, and we'll be set. Well, there it is. It's installed. The uh, breather hose is right here. That's this. It goes up, loops around, goes right next to the battery right here, and the filter is right here. I didn't cut the hose or, you know, shortened it or anything, but uh, I think it's going to work good. 
Like I said, I put those uh, stainless steel bowls right there. And those right there. Ah, darn it, my light. Um, right there, you can see them. Anyway, those are on there. Those were easy to, easier to tighten up. But the cover doesn't hit the uh, the breather filter here. I think we're going to be fine. And as you can see, I don't have my lights up yet. We've been doing a lot of uh, work here at the house. So I got to gotta put some lights up and light it up a little bit so anyway I'm gonna finish putting this back together and when it's lighter I guess you know I'll show it again to see how the uh, the talon head and made this nifty little tool it's a 316 socket with the actual size Allen head on it, wrench, and I cut it down short enough so it would fit, and with the ratchet, it wasn't hitting, obstructing itself on there, so that's actually made it easy to unscrew all of them. Otherwise, the longer one that I have is about maybe a quarter of an inch longer this just has a little bit of sealer on it that's not dry yet but it's a little bit longer than that anyway this shorter one here uh, actually it could be maybe an eighth of an inch shorter and it'll be fine so i ended up doing that can't say i messed up a good tool it's just an older allen head that i have anyway we're gonna go for a ride tonight it's motorcycle night so go for a ride uh, I'm gonna do what Trask says put it on and forget about it uh, like I said I've heard nothing but good reviews on it and that's why I decided to do it I was gonna do the event uh, dip the vented dipstick uh, there's a couple of them on there uh, some people what they do is they'll drill a hole on it and put a fitting on it and all that but uh, there is air basically it's not sealed properly or all the way unless it's on there but anyway i didn't decided not to do that because it makes sense that that's the lowest point of the oil system on heavy acceleration all that oil runs all the way back and it blocks the 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 air cavity so this makes much more sense uh, they it looks like they did their homework on it and uh, and they they did good I believe so I believe they did I haven't had any issues with the bike none at all uh, I mean it runs perfect it rides perfect I took uh, the air cleaner off there's no residue or anything on it bike only has uh, just turned over 7,000 miles so I don't have any issues with it so anyway that's where we're going to leave this video thank you for watching I really appreciate it um, it is a little bit uh, tedious to get your hands in there but once you take these covers off and your your seat to route your hose it looks factory it doesn't look like anything was modified Anyway, have a good day, have a good rest of the week, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.